back here, you'll be able to communicate to them. The preps are in place. The plan calls to descend a story down and then enter into darkness. There's a process to it. One victim, head injury. There's a uh, roles of responsibilities that are specific that need to be trained on and practiced over and over again so we can be proficient at them. So this is one example of that. There are a dozen here ready to embrace the enclosed space. Inside station two, Members from the Middletown Fire Department's Platoon 1 are completing their technician level confined space training. What's up there, all right? Assistant Chief James Eamon is leading the team. It's an OSHA mandated uh, required training that we have to do every year. Uh, throughout the city, the different uh, industries will have spaces that employees will go into to do routine maintenance. If they get injured or disabled, uh, we have to be trained. Uh, we have to have equipment capable of going in to uh, rescue them. You do this in the station house, but in real life, this would be? This could be any, uh, anywhere, you know, from like we talked about earlier, an underground fuel tank to a, you know, a silo to a, you know, a small tube. Uh, so a multitude of different scenarios. Okay, we'll start one up. Good. It's always difficult, you know, operating with, with your gear on and, and gloves and, and you got your face mask on. It's all about having the team. You know, each team member makes everything a little bit more easy. Um, but it's, it, it is difficult. It's a higher level task, but I think it went really well today. For the team, this type of rescue work can literally come down to fighting their way out of a very remote corner. Yeah. That's the result they want. The guy succeeding, uh, working together, accomplishing a task that's uh, a little complex uh, and building that confidence and proficiency. In Middletown, Good job, guys. Jim Altman, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.